Dr. Toyo is here. The question to plug or not to plug in a dry eye patient. And the punctal plug is the most overused treatment in dry eye disease. Why? It's very simple. Uh, you figure you just plug the punctum, that'll keep the tear on the eye longer. Uh, but the problem is most patients don't have a water problem in their tear production. They have a meibomian gland dysfunction, so they don't have enough fat in their tear. And how does our body respond to that? The lacrimal gland is a, like a sponge uh, right here in the anatomy. And it just squeezes the sponge when you have meibomian gland dysfunction, producing more water to keep your eye from drying out. So now you're keeping more water uh, on the eye. Now, what's the problem with keeping this abnormal tear on your eye? It's an inflammatory tear. That uh, tear is filled with inflammatory mediators that are breaking down the ocular surface and breaking down the uh, conjunctiva. This is why conjcholasis is now one of the most common things that I see in clinic because patients have an inflamed tear due to an impunctal plug being there uh, causing damage to the conjunctiva and the conjunctiva is pulling away from the sclera and then kind of acting like a wrinkled carpet. Uh, you could see one of my other TikToks on that. The other thing that is wrong with the plug, like this one here, they can get infected. So essentially you have bacteria love a nice watery warm space you've got this inflamed tear on a patient that has a lot of bacteria and demodex and that's just kind of staying in the corner there uh, because you don't have the natural drainage of the tear into the nose and out of the system so now you've got this abnormal tear with a bunch of bacteria on it uh, sitting there. The other thing, it's terrible for allergies, and we know that 70% of dry eye patients also have seasonal allergies. So now the allergens have nowhere to get out. So they just sit on the eye all day long, causing that histamine release and that inflammation around the meibomian glands, which makes the meibomian glands uh, work worse. Uh, so this infected uh, plug, the reason why it's white, it's because it has a bunch of pus. Uh, all around it. That could be a problem long term too because what it'll do is it'll cause scarring of that punctum and even if you try to take the plug out you're going to have some destruction of the punctum and also it may be so scarred down that now we have no uh, drainage. So overall percentage of patients that need plug is very low. Uh, it's usually patients who have Sjogren's but a lot of the Sjogren's patients also have meibomian gland uh, dysfunction. Uh, one positive is if you're going to use a plug there is now lacrophil and this is a little gel that you can put in that space so it doesn't stick out like this so you'll have less chance of getting an infection and then if you want to flush it away all you have to do is just take a little bss and flush it away so for the very small few patients that a punctal plug works for i would actually use the lacrophil